Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And thank you, Ambassador Tai. I think you can sense the frustration, at least over on this side of the dais, because it just does not appear we are moving the needle on trade. And I don't know you very well. I, you come very, very highly uh, spoken of from members who worked with you previously. I personally think you're too nice a person to be in the job that you're in, because I think you're handicapped um, because of administrative uh, folks that you have to report to, et cetera, that are handicapping you in your job. Negotiators are usually very, very tough and sometimes mean people. They aren't nice people like you are. And if you look at what's happened with us, we are absolutely handcuffing the United States because we worry more about green things. It's, it's all the other distractions. We're in the Paris Climate Accord. We handcuff ourselves and we give China the ability to buy, you know, build nine this past year, 27 more coal plants. And if you look at what we're doing to the United States, all we're doing is giving the open door for China. It's just a fact. We don't negotiate. We're talking about critical er rare earth metals. Yeah, we're fine to tear them up and get them from China where we're using slave labor, but we have them in our own country and we're not able to do that. It puts us absolutely at a disadvantage. And you're stuck, personally, I feel sorry for you, you're stuck in the middle of that. And so. Let me get to just some of the other issues. It's just an absolute frustration because you just see this country swirling down the drain because we're just so distracted on so many other different issues that China doesn't give a damn about. And because they don't give a damn about, they are just swarming over the rest of, our, uh, rest of the world with influence. Um, happy to hear that we're going to try to work on a Taiwan uh, free trade agreement. That's absolutely necessary. I come from the second largest pork producing district in the country. It's a big deal. Pigs are a big deal for us. Pork is a big deal for us. But unfortunately, with Taiwan, we've seen our exports decline 35 percent, one third, since 2021 in a time when Taiwan's imports of pork went up 15 percent. Can you help me understand that? Why has that happened? Why have we hurt our own pork producers in a time when Taiwan has been increasing their importation? So, Congressman, I can assure you um, that um, I know to be nice to members of the Ways and Means Committee, <laughs> and I've never been I've never been faulted for being too nice. Uh, I also you have too nice also, a smile. I also don't need you to feel sorry for me. So please don't, please don't I just, do that. Yeah, I feel like you've been put in a tough spot personally because there's just been the, this administration ab above you has just shown no interest. Okay, in well let me just take off the nice a little bit. I don't need your pity. I stand up for the American people, and when I speak, people listen because I represent the interests of the United States. Let me go to your specific question uh, on um, uh, what uh, are your frustrations around our, our trade policy. Look, I'm hearing it from this entire side of the dais. I've sat in the back seat before also. You guys are staying very well on message, and um, it's, it's great. Well, it's work a good message. It's a true message. It's not. It's I think that you have completely missed the point. You're from, you're from a great state. It's also a textiles producing state. I think that uh, that should inform a particular perspective in terms of where our trade policies have been strong for ag, but also where our trade policies have really bled out some of our critical industries. And I do consider textiles to be uh, a critical industry. On rare earths, let me tell you a couple things here. <clears throat> Why are rare earths important? Rare earths are important because, especially now, they have significant applications in uh, clean energy and clean technology um, uh, industries. Um, so that is actually part of the, the greening agenda. Um, well, we're, we're, we're not getting it from our you, own I'll country. Why, I'll tell you why we're not producing rare earths anymore. We used to. And I litigated a case at the WTO on this 10 years ago, which we won. But it hasn't put us in a better place. And that gets us into a WTO conversation. I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole with right. you right now. But uh, let me just ask this other question because I really didn't want to go on rare earths. Predatory Chinese practices, which you're right, we should be working together on that. But blaming each other for and, and not being able to come to an agreement on what is actually important for the U.S. economy, that's what's holding us back. A absolutely. So I, don't, I don't disagree with that at all. All right. Let's uh, Ambassador, let me just ask this one other question. that we're facing and facts. All right. Thank you. I agree. I don't disagree with you. I don't disagree with you. We're throttling ourselves on some of this. I'm going to originally